गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट दिस वीडियो सेशन इज फॉर क्लास सेकेंड स्टूडेंट सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स चैप्टर नंबर थ्री एंड द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज सब्रेक्शन दिस इज आर समरी लेक्चर नंबर वन टूडेज टॉपिक्स येस बेटा आर सब्रेक्शन चैप्टर हैज बिन फिनिश्ड सो टूडे वी विल रिवाइज ऑल थिंग्स ऑफ चैप्टर थ्री नंबर वन प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ सब्रेक्शन then multiple choice questions true or false write the missing numbers and fill in the blanks now we have first of all properties of subtraction so first if we subtract zero from any number we get the same number agar beta hum kisi bhi number mein se zero ko subtract karte hain to hame same number milta hai Okay, let's see how. Like in a part, four minus zero, that is zero, the number itself. Okay, beta. Ten minus zero, again we will get ten. Okay, like if we have ten chocolates and we will not give any chocolate to anyone, how many are left with us? Ten. Okay, so we'll write ten here. Now in c part. डैश माइनस जीरो इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी फाइव किसमें से हम जीरो माइनस करें कि हमारा आंसर फोर्टी फाइव आए द सेम नंबर दैट इज फोर्टी फाइव नाउ इन डी पार्ट सिक्सटी नाइन माइनस डैश इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी नाइन सिक्सटी नाइन में से क्या माइनस करें कि आंसर सिक्सटी नाइन आए दैट इज जीरो नाउ इन ई पार्ट थ्री हंड्रेड नाइनटी नाइन माइनस जीरो इज इक्वल टू डैश द नंबर इट सेल्फ 399. Now in F part, 950 minus dash is equal to 950. So what we will write here? That is zero. So understood, beta. When we subtract a zero from any number, we get the same number. Now property number two. If we subtract same number from the number itself, we get zero. अगर हम सेम नंबर को सब्ट्रैक्ट करेंगे तो हमारा आंसर क्या आएगा जीरो लेट सी हाउ लाइक फोर्टी एट माइनस फोर्टी एट सपोज यू हैव फोर्टी एट टॉफीज एंड यू विल गिव ऑल टॉफीज टू योर फ्रेंड सो हाउ मेनी आर लेफ्ट विद यू दैट इज जीरो सो यू विल राइट इज जीरो हेयर ओके नाउ इन बी पार्ट एटी नाइन माइनस एटी नाइन सेम थिंग इज देयर सो यू विल गेट Zero. So when we subtract the same number from the number itself, we get zero. Now in C part, 970 minus dash is equal to zero. Now here we have to write the number. कि कब हमें आंसर जीरो मिलेगा if we are subtracting from 970. So we have to subtract the same number that is 970. Now in D part. डैश माइनस ट्वेंटी थ्री इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो किसमें से हम ट्वेंटी थ्री को माइनस करें कि हमारा आंसर क्या आ जाए जीरो सो द सेम नंबर नाउ इन प्रॉपर्टी नंबर थ्री बेटा इट इज गिवेन इफ वी सब्रैक्ट वन फ्रॉम एनी नंबर वी गेट प्रीवियस नंबर ऑफ आर काउंट ओके सो लेट सी हाउ हेयर इट इज गिवेन नाइनटीन माइनस वन ओके So what is the previous number of 19? Previous means पहले वाला नंबर बेटा ओके सो नाइनटीन से पहले कौन सा नंबर आता है दैट इज एटीन सो यू राइट एटीन हेयर ओके इन बी पार्ट फिफ्टी सिक्स माइनस वन सो वट इज द प्रीवियस नंबर ऑफ फिफ्टी सिक्स दैट इज फाइव फाइव फिफ्टी फाइव ओके नाउ नाइनटी माइनस डैश इज इक्वल टू एटी नाइन मीन्स वट वी हैव टू सब्रेक्ट फ्रॉम नाइनटी to get 89 and you know that 89 is the previous number of 90 so which number will subtract from 90 that is 1 okay beta now in d part 780 minus 1 so again what is the previous number of 780 that is 779 okay now in e part 100 minus 1 so 100 Minus one is equal to ninety-nine. Okay. Now, beta, multiple choice question. In this question number one, it is given when we subtract zero 
from any number we get dash number and here we have options a 0 b same number c 1 and d both a and c so when in multiple choice questions we have given four or more than four options and we have to choose the correct answer from them okay so here it is given ki jab hum subtract karte hain zero ko kisi bhi number mein se we get dash number so this is our property and we know that we get same number so here it is written in the b option so our b option is the correct option b same number so when we subtract the zero from any number we get same number okay now in question number 2 when we subtract 1 from any number we get dash number this is also our property so see what what are the options in a 0 b same number c 1 and in d previous number so when we subtract 1 from any number we get the previous number of our counting okay so our option d is correct here previous number now in question number 3 subtract 19 from 29 so here are the options in a 0 b 20 c 10 d 1 so beta first of all we will subtract it here at the side okay so first of all we will write places 1s and 10s then 29 after that we will write 19 then we will subtract okay so we start from 1s place 9 minus 0 that is 0 because we are subtracting the same number and 2 minus 1 that is the previous number of 2 that is 1 so our answer is 1 0 10 and where it is written in our option number c it is written so our answer number c option number c is correct okay now in question number 4 if we subtract 56 from 90 then the difference is dash okay so here it is given options in a 56 b 90 c 0 d 34 so now we have to solve first of all so we will solve it and the side here first of all we will write places because two digits are there so we will write two places ones and tens then we will write the number that is given after from because that number is the greater number from 2 okay 90 we will write then we subtract 56 from it so let's start from our ones place here it is given 0 and we have to subtract 6 from 0 and that is not possible so what we will do we have to take borrow so ones place will take borrow from the tens place and this number will become 0 plus 10 that is 10 okay and here at tens place this number will become 9 minus 1 that is 8 now keep 10 in your mind and 6 on your fingers let's start backward counting 9 8 7 6 5 4 so we'll write 4 here at once place okay and now keep 8 in your mind and 5 on your fingers let's start backward counting 7 6 5 4 3 so we write 3 here so our answer is 3 4 34 where it is written it is written here in option number d so option d is correct so understood beta in these type of questions when it is given we have to subtract something from any number then you have to do like this in the corner okay and then whatever the result is there you have to click that one okay beta now in question number five after subtracting the numbers the result obtained is called the dash up jab hum numbers ko subtract kar rahe like this humne yaha par do numbers ko subtract kiya aur ye jo hamara answer aa raha hai jo result aa raha hai that uh, the result that obtained is called the difference okay now here options are subtraction no difference yes c part addition and in d part numbers okay so what is the correct option that is d option correct difference okay now in question number six when a number is subtracting from itself 
अगर कोई नंबर सब्ट्रैक्ट हो रहा है अपने आप में से द डिफरेंस इज डैश ऑप्शन आर ए वन बी सेम नंबर सी प्रीवियस नंबर एंड डी जीरो सो इट इज ऑप्शन डी जीरो ओके नाउ इन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन इट इज गिवेन फोर टेन माइनस टू टेन इज इक्वल टू डैश ओके बेटा एंड आर ऑप्शन आर टू टू टेन ट्वेंटी एंड बोथ ऑप्शन बी एंड सी सो हेयर यू कैन सी बेटा फोर टेन मीन्स फोर्टी एंड टू टेन मीन्स ट्वेंटी ओके सो वी हैव टू सब्जेक्ट ट्वेंटी फ्रॉम फोर्टी ओके सो जीरो माइनस जीरो इज जीरो एंड फोर माइनस टू इज टू इट मीन्स आर आंसर शुड बी ट्वेंटी ओके एंड इन अनदर वे फोर टेन माइनस टू टेन मीन्स कीप फोर इन योर माइंड एंड ओपन योर टू फिंगर्स दैट स्टार्ट बैकवर्ड काउंटिंग थ्री टू इट मीन्स इट टू टेन ओके सो इन ऑप्शन बी इट इज गिवेन टू टेन एंड इन ऑप्शन सी इट इज गिवेन ट्वेंटी मीन्स बोथ ऑप्शन आर करेक्ट ओके सो हेयर इन डी इट इज रिटर्न बोथ ऑप्शन बी एंड सी सो आर आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी बोथ ऑप्शन बी एंड सी ओके Now in question number eight, ten ones minus four ones is equal to dash. So our options are ten, b four, c six, d seven. So but that ten ones means ten only, and four ones means four. So keep ten in your mind and four on your fingers. Let's start backward counting: nine, eight, seven, six. So our answer is. Six and it is in the option C. So option C six is the correct answer for it. Now in question number nine, there are sixteen students in a row. Beta students are those girls as well as boys. Okay. Now it is given if nine are girls, एक row में sixteen students हैं. अगर उनमें से nine girls हैं, how many means कितने? Boys are there in a row. So, एक row में कितने boys हैं? And our options are five boys, three boys, twelve boys, and seven boys. So, let's start. Keep sixteen in your mind and open your nine fingers. Let's start backward counting. Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight. Seven. So, in option D, it is written seven. So, seven boys are there in a row. So, our option number D is correct. Seven boys. Now, beta, write true or false. So, here, beta, if the statement is true, means correct, then you will write true. And if the statement is wrong, you have to write false. Okay. So, let's start. In question number one, it is given twenty-two minus six. Is equal to twelve. So first of all, we will solve this. Okay, so keep twenty-two in your mind and open your six fingers. Now we have to speak backward counting. Let's start: twenty-one, twenty, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen. It means, beta, our answer should be sixteen. है ना? जब हमने इसे solve किया तो हमारा answer क्या आना चाहिए था? Sixteen. But it is given here twelve. So our statement is false. Now in question number two, nine minus eight is equal to three. So nine minus eight, it should be one, but here it is given three. So this statement is also false. Now in question number three, the difference between two hundred forty and one hundred forty is hundred. So first of all, we have to find out whether the statement is correct or not. So here in the side we will solve. So Which number is greater from these two numbers, 240 or 140? That is 240. So first of all, here we will write places, ones, tens, and hundreds. Then we will write 240, then minus 140. So let's start from our ones place. Zero minus zero is zero. Four minus four, zero. Two minus one, one. So our answer is 100. Okay. And here it is also given 100, so this statement is correct. So our answer is true. 
Now in question number four, when we subtract a zero from any number, जब हम zero subtract करते हैं बेटा किसी भी number में से, we get next number. और वो कह रहा है कि हमें next number मिलता है. So tell me, the statement is true or false? The statement is false because when we subtract a zero from any number, we will get the same number. So our statement is false here. Now in question number five, one's place digit always will take borrow from hundreds place digit. बेटा जब भी one's place digit को borrow की जरूरत होती है, तो वो किससे borrow लेता है? From hundreds place digit. No, that is false statement because one's place will always take borrow from tens place digits. Okay, so this statement is also false. Now बेटा write the missing number. Here in A part, it is given 70 minus dash is equal to 66. So here, you have to keep 70 in your mind and you have to speak backward counting till 66. Okay. And you will have to open your fingers. Okay. So let's start backward counting. 69, 68, 67, 66. So how many fingers you have opened? That is 4. So we'll write 4 here. Now in B part, 12 minus 8 is equal to dash. So keep 12 in your mind and 8 on your fingers. Let's start backward counting. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. So we will write 4 here. Now in C part, 90 minus dash is equal to 80. So again, you have to keep 90 in your mind and you have to speak backward counting till 80 and you have to open your fingers. So let's start backward counting before 90. 89, 88, 87, 86, 85, 84, 83, 82, 81, 80. So how many fingers you have opened? That is 10. Okay. Or 0 minus 0, 0. 9 minus 8, 1. We can do like this also. Okay, Vita. Now in D part, 415 minus 415. So both numbers are same. So we will get 0. Now in E part, 45 plus 10 is equal to 55. And we have to write dash minus 45 is equal to 10. We have to fill this missing number here. Okay, Vita. Now you can see that this is the relationship between addition and subtraction. So, which number comes here? That is 55. Because when we subtract 45 from 55, we will get 10. Okay. So, you write here 55. So, whatever the number is not given to us, we will write here that number. Now, in F part, 39 plus 15 is equal to 54. So, 54 minus dash is equal to 39. So, which number is not given? That is 15. So, we will write here 15. Understood? Now, fill in the blank. In question number A, the dash is the sign of subtraction. So, what is the sign of subtraction, Mida? That is this sign. Okay? Like slipping line. Now, in V part, 29 minus 0 is equal to dash. So, when we subtract a 0 from any number, we will get the same number that is 29. Now, in C part, 49 minus 1 is equal to dash. So, when we subtract 1 from any number, we will get the previous number. So, what is the previous number of 49? That is 48. Now, in D part, 621 minus 8. So, we have to subtract a single digit number. So, we can do it on our fingers. So, let's keep 621 in your mind and open your 8 fingers. Now, we have to speak backward counting. 620, 619, 618, 617, 616, 615, 614, 613. So, our answer is 613. Now, in E part, 99 minus 9 is equal to dash. So now keep 99 in your mind and open your 9 fingers. Let's start backward counting. 98, 97, 96, 95, 
90. So our answer is 9090. Now in F part, 52 plus 8 is equal to 60. And here it is given 60 minus 52 is equal to dash. So this is our subtraction fact. So what, which number is not given to us? That is 8. So we will write 8 here in the blank. Understood? Now with our today's homework, do assignment number 2 of chapter number 3, subtraction, given on Edpark website. Bita, I have given you an assignment before. Okay, so you have to revise both assignments because on Saturday there will be a test of chapter 3, subtraction. Okay, so you need to revise both the assignments carefully. Thank you.